There's this new Google Ads billing summary that got rolled out recently, and it's kind of split things up a little bit, shifted some things around. So let's go through how this is set up, just so you can kind of understand what exactly is going on here. <laughs> so first of all, if you go to, in your Google Ads account, if you go to Tools and Settings, then to Billing, if you click on Summary right here, then that's you'll see this page pull up. And it'll have some different information. Depending on how you have your billing set up, this will all vary. Uh, you can see right here it says manual payment and funds available or available funds. So money's actually being manually added to this account. And that's why there's some available funds here. Yours might look different. Your available funds might be zero. But... Uh, Google Ads actually gives a whole breakdown of how all of this works, where we can see what these different numbers mean. So when we're taking a look at, say, February, we can see funds from January, payments, net cost, available funds. So if we come back here and look, balance from the previous month, so balance from June, funds from January, so it's a little bit different because we're doing manual payments. Um, but essentially, it's going to do a calculation here and show you exactly what's going on. And the reason they do this is because you're going to be submitting payments at different points throughout the month and accruing ad spend at different points throughout the month. So this is in an attempt to help break things down so it makes a little bit more sense. And then of course they have the whole year's breakdown. Well, I think there's more than that. You can see many different years here. But you can expand these out and see this exact same breakdown for each of these months. So when you go through and look at this, you basically have the balance from the previous month that carried over. So that's the amount that you spent last month that you hadn't paid for yet because Google Ads gives you credit so that you can run ads and then pay at the end of the month usually depending on how much you're spending but the net cost is going to be the cost of the actual campaigns so all the clicks you got minus any adjustments and credits and ancillary things and then payments obviously the total amount of payments that Google Ads received from you in that month and then the current balance is how much you owe currently so you can do that math here and it'll show the breakdown so there's two thousand dollars in payments net cost you can see that we had some funds left over so there's still some available funds here and we can break that down month by month I'm not gonna go through all of this in detail obviously but you can download all this stuff for your tax records too but if there's anything you did have questions about in terms of Google Ads billing summary, uh, how Google Ads billing works in general, anything like that, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comment section down below, and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with Google Ads anymore, <laughs> then you can always reach out to me. Uh, my company is Missoula SEO Geek. I'll leave a link to my website down below, but we do manage Google Ads for different companies and different industries and you can come learn about what we do what makes us unique you can even read some of the testimonials from some businesses that we've taken from zero to over a million in revenue like this one here and really just see that you know this is the type of thing that's going to explode your business growth so feel free to reach out you can always give us a call or contact us through our website and look forward to working with you